In this video, the TM1638 module, executing multiple applications, is further modified by adding time and date functionalities using real-time clock DS3231. In the modified diagram, we have the TM1638 module connected to the Arduino using serial connection using digital pins D3, D4, and D6. The frequency counter input is at D5, and the DHT11 sensor is at D8. The DS3231 real-time clock is connected using I2C through pins A4 and A5. We have the 10K pot connected to A7, and we have a push button connected to interrupt pin 0 of the Arduino. And now for a quick demonstration. Pressing the S1 button will give us the time in minutes, hours, and seconds. We press the exit button to leave the application and press S2 button to see the day, month, and year. Pressing button S3 will give us the temperature and humidity. S4 will give us the frequency counter. S5 will give us the bar graph display. S6 will give us the scrolling text and S7 will give us the 8-bit binary count. At each running application, pressing the exit button will cause an interrupt, forcing the application to exit and going to the main menu. A quick look at the sketch used in this project for the TM1638 executing multiple applications. Now here I will only focus on the real-time clock part of the code. A link to the code will be provided in the video description. Inside the loop function, we read the status of the buttons and we see if button 1 is pressed, then we call this function to display the real-time. If the second button is pressed, then we call this function to display the date. And the same goes for button 3 to display the humidity and temperature, button 4, the frequency counter, button 5, the bar graph display, button 6 for the scrolling text, and finally button 7 to display the 8-bit binary count. When we press which one, then this function is uh, executed, and here we get the minute, hour, and second from the RTC module and then save the values into the elements of this array and then call this function to convert the values into appropriate characters that can be displayed on the TM1638 to 7 segment displays and then display the result on the digits of the 7 segment. The time is continuously displayed within this uh, do while loop until we press the exit button which causes an interrupt so the program will immediately jump to this interrupt service routine and this uh, boolean variable will be set to true and then the program will jump back to the loop and here this if statement becomes true now thus causing the function to return to the loop function hence exiting this function pressing switch to will cause this function to execute where we read from the RTC module the day, month, and year values and store these values into, this, uh, into the elements of this array and then call this function to convert the values into characters that can be displayed on the module and then display the result on the 7 segment displays. Again, the date value is continuously displayed on the module until we press the exit button causing the interrupt and uh, returning from the interrupt, this uh, if statement becomes true, and thus we exit the function and go back to the loop function. The TM1638 still has one more button that needs to be programmed, namely switch 8. But that's another video. Thank you for watching.